Hello everyone, welcome to the Web3 Education and Investment. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about the hardware, wallet, ledger, and the Parallel Finance in Polkadot. I'm going to show you how to use ledger in Parallel Finance. Parallel Finance is a parachain in Polkadot ecosystem. They are the defined protocol for lending and staking. They also have the money market. You can check it here. In the money market, you can lend different assets in Polkadot and uh, also in Kusama. So here you can see the Dot and the Glimmer, Akana, all kinds of assets. So step one, we need to install Parallel app in your Ledger. So first go to your Ledger app, click My Ledger. Now approve and then you should search Parallel. After you find the app, click install and wait a little bit time, it will be installed. So this is the first step. Second step, attach and add ledger to your JS extension. So first go to the JS extension on your top left, switch to parallel. Now you can see there is a button add via ledger. If you didn't see that, go to the setting and make sure you set up the option. Now you can add the account, but there's an error because you need to go to your ledger, select the parallel app, and then now click save. Now you already add the ledger to the JS extension. So I'm going to send a little bit para token from the other account. So now I send 1.1 .1 para. So you can see that now this account we have a little bit para. I also need to go to the extension and do the same thing. Add and attach ledger account. Select Pioneer Finance. Put the name, I'm going to put the same name. After I put the name, I will also need to approve through my ledger. And you will see the address is the same as the one you just see here on your JS extension. Step 3, connect to the Parallel app. So now I'm going to select the new account I just created. Go to the overview. You will see the balance. Right now, I have a Nibi dot and I also have some para token in my ledger wallet. Click the money market. Now I'm going to show you how to land the asset. I will put a Nibi bit para and uh, land it. After I click that, it will need your signature and you will see the ledger arrow here because I didn't approve from my ledger. So what should I do is go to the ledger and review the transaction. So you need to make sure this is correct. Click approve. Now you can refresh and you can sign on the ledger. All right, done. Now you successfully land your para token. Same thing if you want to add the connect rule, you need to sign on your ledger. So all the operations you need to do on your ledger wallet. Overall, I just show you how to use ledger on the Parallel Finance platform. We all know not your keys, not your coins. So it is very important to use the Ledger want it or some other hardware want it to protect your funds. Hopefully this video is useful. If you like it, please leave a comment, thumbs up, and share. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.